With the Valley out of action until December, the Grimsby match on August the 15th kicked off Charlton's second season of ground sharing with West Ham United. From Upton Park, here's our commentator, Steve Dixon. It's a bright, sunny afternoon here in East London as Charlton Athletic and Grimsby Town walk out on the picture at Upton Park to start the Barclays League first division season. The Red Red Robin sadly again playing in unfamiliar territory as Charlton unable still to return to the valley. But hasn't deterred a reasonable crowd of coming along here this afternoon of course. We've also got the chicken run open at Upton Park for the first time for a Charlton home game for the use of Charlton supporters. And let's hope it inspires the Charlton players. The last time the chicken run was open when Leicester City, City fans filled it completely here in April and of course Charlton went on to win 2-0 that day. Let's look at the Charlton side for you first of all. It's a familiar squad, it's a familiar lineup for Charlton, no movement in or out during the summer. Anthony Barnett comes in at number three for the Hill Scott Minto. John Bunkett also stands down and Paul Bacon replaces him at number eight and back in the lineup although he didn't play in too many of the friendly, Steve Gatting and Stuart Barnett therefore dropping down to substitute. Looking across at the Grimsby Town team, a little bit of transfer activity in the summer involving Grimsby manager Alan Buckley. Most notably, Reese Wilmot in goal. Reese Wilmot, former Arsenal goalkeeper, most recently with Plymouth, signing for Grimsby, a tribunal fee there, still to be decided. And also transfer activity at Blundell Park. Clive Mendonca signing on Thursday from Sheffield United for £85,000. And also Paul Grove who played at Wembley in the summer when Blackpool went up in the playoff final. So there's the two teams. And the season is underway here at Upton Park. Barclays League, first division action, the 92-3 season is underway. And Charlton are on the attack with Colin Walsh. Here's Alan Pardew. And it goes out to Robert Lee and Charlton attacking the Grimsby goal early on. And a cross comes in and was whipped in low by Lee and hooked out for a corner. Pardew take it short. This is Walsh. Cutting inside. It's a shot. Oh, and it went right across the goal and I thought it was going to drift in at the far post. And now Walsh for Charlton and Charlton has got men forward. Walsh has got two men to his left. He's looking for the chance for the shot. Well held by Wilmer. And the action here in the first seven minutes at Upton Park is fast and furious as Grimsby bring the ball away. There are sides that like to knock the ball about. We saw that at Upton Park last season and they've shown that they're willing to do that again. Here's Lee to Charlton. Skips the side one challenge. The ball to Nelson. He's through. Nelson scores! It's 1-0 to Charlton after seven minutes. And it's Gary Nelson. His first goal in the first team since December 28th. And he'll be absolutely delighted with that. Gary Nelson gets off the mark. A free kick to Charlton. There's a chance at the far post. Pardew gets it back. And is it still in there? Oh, and it wasn't ball to a Charlton player. And there was a chance there. I wonder if Adam Pardew knew exactly how much time he had. He might then have chested it down and tried to drive at goal. Charlton with less than 10 minutes gone of fourth three corners scored once and had two or three very good chances chance of we're going to win the league for the North Bank maybe a trifle premature but certainly if Charlton can keep up this sort of form they are going to be a handful for every team in this new Barclays first division here's Lee and Pitcher, Lee again. Looking for some movement, Robert Lee. Webster, chip forward. Lee burning behind the defence. Lee Burns to get in here. It's a goal off the line, a fabulous clearance. Marvellous stuff there by Graham Rocker. Carl Lee Burns is down, injured in the crash with Reece Wilmot. Brave header from Lee Burns. But that really was an acrobatic clearance by Graham Roger, the former Luton and Coventry defender. He did exceptionally well to stretch the ball away at the expense of the corner. Carl Even still down, but it looks as if he's just winded. 
Lieburn and Roger are both OK to continue. And Charlton have a corner. Not a particularly good one. Here's Lee. Back to Walsh. And that's a better ball in. Lieber with a flick. 2-0. Carl Lieber score. 2-0. After only 11 minutes. What a marvellous start for Charlton. And what a super goal by Carl Lieber. The ball came in low for Colin Walsh. And Lieber with what amounted to a back heel. Flicking it past Wilmot. And Grimsby's new goalkeeper has seen the ball fly past him twice in the first 11 minutes of his league debut which is fabulous news for Charlton fans it's Charlton at the next two Grimsby Town nil oh off the post oh what about that for luck well I, I don't believe it that's amazing Leeburn got up to head the ball away he deflected it past Bob Bolden, looked for all the world as if it had gone in, and I think one or two of the Grimsby fans certainly thought that it had. Deflected across, off the post, along the goal line, and out. Lee gets a good header in, and Lee with a flick. Now McDermott gets it forward. Pardew got up well. Bacon was in there, but Dobbin does well. And this is Reese, and Dobbin's gone again. But now it's with Jobling. Gilbert out on the flank, struggling, oh there's a chance now, oh it's surely, oh good save by Boulder, and Watson gets it back across, and it's out by Gatting, and Jim Dobbin had a guilt edge opportunity there to pull it back to Grimsby, he stepped inside the challenge, and I think he had almost too much time. will have to work fast. Got a little bit of time in fact. Mendonca now closing him down and Boulder knocking it long. Up towards Leeburn. Oh, it's a lovely header by Leeburn. And a good ball by Walsh to Nelson. Nelson again working hard up front for Charlton. Now if he can find Barnett, he's found Barnett. The drive! Not far away from actually Barnett. But good football from Charlton Athletic. Short to Lee. Turning, it's back to Walsh now, on his right foot, it's in, Pardew, oh it's gone in, oh no it hasn't gone wide, and Wilmot flaps at that and I thought he'd missed it completely, but he's just got a fingertip to it and it crushed the outside of the post. Pardew gets the header in and it almost fell for Robert Lee but Gilbert now for Grimsby and again Darren Fisher gets the better of Gilbert and there's a problem there for John Martin the linesman had a good view of that and Darren Fisher has been That is absolutely unbelievable. Darren Fisher won the ball fair and square without any doubt. Then there was a tangle afterwards and the referee has seen fit to dismiss them both. And I would imagine thanks to the linesman. And the Charlton players are not at all happy and neither are the supporters. And that has brought an ugly edge to this game. Now Robert Lee, Nelson coming to collect, back to Lee, Alan Pardew is forward, Lee can find him and he has done, and Pardew gets away from the challenge by Roger, and he needs support Alan Pardew, he's got the ball in the car towards Carl Leeburn, oh that's a fine header by Leeburn, and Alan Pardew did really well to ride the challenge by Roger. 
And let's see what Grimsby can produce now. Charlton have got six men in the wall. Dobbin with a drive. Boulder with the save. And it's a chance and Boulder with another good save. And the Charlton players looking at the linesman in disgust. Driven to the far post but there's nobody there. Or in fact, Pardew's done well to get across. And now Webster jumping with Dobbin and Webster cooking, taking the force of Jim Dobbin's challenge full on the chest, but getting up and getting on with it. And Charlton have a free kick. Walsh and Gatting over the ball. Robert Lee to the right, and this is Lee. Walsh goes again. Lee has spotted Pardew sneaking in the far post with a chance for Dyer. Charlton this afternoon. And Gary Nelson ever eager and he's really done well there. The Grimsby defenders gave it up for loss, but Gary Nelson didn't. He got the ball across and it's very nearly produced something. Great work again from Nelson. I think Gary Nelson is enjoying the game this afternoon. Now Bob Boulder slips and there's a chance. Oh, what a save! Oh, what a fine save! And there it is. Jim Dobbin has scored for Grimsby. And they pulled the goal back on 86 minutes. I don't think it's going to help. on the far side has signalled the 90 minutes is up John Martin has blown the final whistle and it's a good start for Charlton Athletic in this the first game of the Barclays League season the final score here at Upton Park it's a very satisfactory Charlton Athletic 3 Grimsby Town 1 After the match Steve Dixon chatted to goal scorer Carl Lieben Carl, a good result to start the season with, I'm sure you agree. Yeah, very good result. We, we got three points today and we're happy with that. Performance might have not been so good near the end of the game, but as I say, we got the points and we're happy with that. Of course, all three strikers scored today as well, Gary Nelson, yourself and Alex Dyer. Yeah, that's good for the team as well. Um, we've been knocking in the goals like pre-season. I've missed a few games, like through injury and that and lacking a bit of fitness, but I was glad to get on the score sheet. The unsavoury incident, of course, which we've got to talk about, is uh, Darren Pitcher being sent off. We're going to miss Darren for probably three matches now. That's going to be a problem, isn't it? Yeah, um, Darren brings a good part of the aggression from our team into the game and tackling, and he just got punished for something silly today. Um, don't know whether it's the new rules or whatever, but he got sent off, so we're going to miss him for a few games. How did your new back pass law affect you, do you think? Um, well... I don't know about a defence attribute it is for that, it's just that when at the other end, you know, you've got a chance to like challenge the goalkeeper a bit more, knowing that he can't pick it up, so who knows, it's just hard to work, I suppose. That's one team that beat us twice last season, um, you've overturned them today. On Tuesday we take on the other team that beat us twice, do you reckon you can get a similar result at Cambridge? Well, hopefully, um, we'll get the lads together on Monday, do a few set pieces and that, and so forth, and um, try and take on Cambridge. And of course the big one next week which is West Ham. You looking forward to that one? Yeah, it's, um, it's going to be like a lot of crowd there and I think we play our best games with a lot of atmosphere so can't see why um, it should be a good game. Do you think the chicken run being open today helped the lads in terms of atmosphere? Um, I should think so because like it's noise from all four sides as opposed to like three sides so um, I think that contributed to the game as well. And finally you started this season with a goal like you did last year. Can you knock up another 14 or 15 goals again? Well hopefully, that's what I'm looking for. Um, I hope we can get above that this season.